Thank you, Canon, for supporting our channel. Hi, I'm Avery here. Nice to meet you again. So, hope you all is doing well. And by the time you're looking at this video, I have returned my 2470 to Canon already. So, but we still have the footage and the video that we can see how uh, RF 2470 works and how it performs overall. So, see you all later. Well, test and see how it works now for the new generation because this is a quite new lens and he has built in IS. So, let's see how the IS perform and how the lens perform in overall. A 2470 is quite a versatile lens to shoot on the street and by using this lens you can take a lot of wide angle and some telephoto shot. It's quite unique for a photographer to use to have this in the first round but a lot of commoners will say a 2470 is not a good lens for use but for my personal personally thing is a 2470 do have a lot of benefit on using and coverage of white to zoom really do help a lot in making your video and your photos very easy. For the video, you can see how the chromatic aberration on 24 and let's zoom in, you can see the chromatic aberration is very very nice on this lens. Same to this also, let's zoom in and see the corner sharp edge, you see at f2.8 always around sharp and then you can see the chromatic aberration is still so minimal. A 2470 is a very versatile lens which you can use in the wide or in a zoom which this is very flexible and very versatile for a zoom lens range which quite recommended by street or photojournalists or some event photography work but many would say that this is a bit short or a bit not too wide but actually it's quite a versatile lens that I think if you have the budget or you firstly need to choose the lens that you wanted it's a great lens to be have and i will test some shot first and see how the it go But can see the bokeh of this lens by shooting this. The bokeh that 24 7 produced at 70 mm is very soft. You can see it's so bokeh and then so soft at the round edge. Hi, we're back here. So today I have accompanied by two guards here. Have you seen the result of the 24 70? How you feel about it? So a 2470 is quite a personalized and a lens for me because I used to have a 2470 for me for five years during my first stage of my career of becoming a professional photographer. A 2470 that I use now cover me from uh, event, portrait, weddings, product, and a lot of kind of function at all. So. It's a must-have lens and must-go lens for me even though I'm using a, a mostly a prime lens now. So, how many of you have uh, 2470 or you wish to have 2470? I really urge you 
not to sell or just keep it because a 24 7 covers a lot range than you expected because a 24 35 and 50 even though it doesn't have the tally of the 85 but it's still sufficient at the 70s now so you already have a full range of the uh, focal lens by using a 2470 even though the uh, versatility of the 2470 is good but also it has some issue of smaller aperture compared to prime which f2.8 doesn't have so much shallow depth of field compared to the 50 1.4 or 1.8 or you have a uh, how to say heavy lens to carry around but it's still it's still a pay, uh, price to pay if you want the versatility versus the prime and in my opinion also that a photographer must have a 2470 in the arsenal even though uh, a lot of people will say uh, it's not really useful etc but for me it's quite a good lens to have and we now with the building is so as you can see the video uh, link inside it also performed very well in doing a video shot even though I just starting to do a video photography a videography session so this is how I talk about a 2470 in my perspective if you have any question regarding of how a 2470 work in another way like studio portrait or portrait wedding or event etc I'll try to do it a review a testing another time so hope to see you all next time please like and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you all next time bye